Here's why I take sales calls with social media management slash social media growth clients. Please, please give me your number. Please. And if that doesn't work, which trust me, it will, but just in case it doesn't, then you can follow the script and the meeting structure I'm going to be showing you in this video. So my name is Akash Kunver. I have an agency that gets clients only using Upwork. And I started off with short form content editing as our main service and worked our way up to helping clients manage and grow their social media brands with online organic content. Obviously it's online, it's a social media. Now I've been above 10K a month for many, many months now and my record month was 17k a month but trying to get to 20k a month consistently with my agency right now obviously you can tell from the title of this video that i'm going to be showing you exactly how i structure the meetings to be as effective as possible now i have four chapters planned for this video being number one is the chat pre-qualifier number two is the pre-meeting research number three is the bullet point sales script and number four this is kind of awkward i feel like a t-rex here uh, number four is pitch wrap up plus upfront value okay quick disclaimer i am not a sales expert i don't really care about analyzing body language or tonality and doing neurolinguistics or using high pressure sales tactics. But last month I did get 10 new clients for my agency using this method. So if you don't like the idea of being some hardcore salesman, then this method should work for you too. Disclaimer number two. Okay. If you're a beginner and you're intimidated by sales calls, I was once in your shoe. The one thing that made an immediate change was viewing sales calls as a qualification process rather than a like a persuasion process. So some persuasion is involved obviously, but I try to structure this process so that by the end of the conversation, I've already addressed most, if not all the objections before the prospect even has a chance to ask them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so chapter one, the pre qualifier. Now, before I even schedule a call with anyone who's interested in working with me, I try my best to qualify them through messaging first. Now everyone has a different approach to this, but I personally prefer to be very upfront and transparent with my pricing. Now, a lot of people have the thought process that you only show your prices at the end of the sales call because the sales call is an opportunity to impress your prospect enough that they're okay with spending more money than they originally were planning on for your services. I personally hate sales calls, so I try to book the least amount of sales calls on my calendar as possible, but I make sure that each call is extremely high quality and damn near ready to buy. But I'm still trying to get to 20K months, so maybe this is why and I'll have to change my perspective in the future. But for now, this works and it's gotten me to, you know, consistently 10K a month for the past, I don't know how many months, it might even be a year right now. It's kind of embarrassing as someone who's like trying to grow the business even bigger, but hey, we're on to bigger and better things, okay? Okay, so the very first thing that I ask is for their social media handles so I can understand their brand, what they want to accomplish, and most importantly, I'm trying to see if I can genuinely help them or if I'm not the right fit for them. For example, my team specializes in growing brands that are more personal brand driven, meaning they have a main uh, face of the brand, I guess you can say, who connects with their audience via long form and short form content. So when e-commerce companies who sell like, a hat, for example, right? This is a nice hat, by the way, agency go, it's a free discord. So when e-commerce companies or any sort of faceless brand wants my help, I unfortunately have to turn them down. Now in the short term, I do lose the immediate sale, but in the long term, our service delivery is a lot more efficient and high quality because we're following the same frameworks and general strategy for most clients. Not only that, but if I'm competing against another agency who offers uh, every single service under the sun, theoretically, most clients would choose me because I focus on only solving their problem. That's like all we do is solve their specific problem, right? The second thing I ask is for their monthly budget and what weekly deliverables must be met. If you have a flat rate package service, then you can just send them your packages and ask them which one that they would think best fits their needs and their situation and their budget. Now, when I was first starting off though, I'd sometimes have a one and a half, if not like a two hour meeting, just to figure out that they do not have enough money for my services. This sucks, so just, yeah, tr try to get it, get it out the way, but to each their own, whatever works for you, I guess. The third thing I ask is to send me competing social media accounts. This way I can analyze their competitive strategies to see if there are any niche specific content styles that the prospect can take inspiration from. It also gives me a better idea of what they're trying to accomplish with their brand. And depending on the situation, there might be other questions I ask them, such as what are your growth expectations and in what time frame? Because I want to make sure that they have a reasonable goal and I want to see how aggressive they're willing to be when it comes to growth. How many hours per week can you actually dedicate to filming content consistently. The third one is send me examples of content that you'd like me to take inspiration from when editing yours. Now, this is for people who, when we manage their pages, they have us edit their videos as well. If we're not doing the editing ourselves, then obviously we won't ask that question. Moving on to chapter two is the pre-meeting research. So 10 minutes before the meeting starts, just begin researching their brand, okay? Research their brand, their mission, recent accomplishments, their content style, and just familiarize yourself with who they are. This is extremely simple and it's very, very time efficient. It also makes 
makes the meetings go a lot smoother while also making you seem more impressive. Since we're talking about social media management clients here, then you should also see which content of theirs is performing better than average and mention it during the meetings. Something like, so when I was looking through your profiles, I noticed that when you talk about subject X, your videos perform a lot better. Have you ever thought of doubling down and talking about subject X, but testing different content formats like talking head or podcasts or street interviews, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now this way you're actively providing upfront value before they're even a client of yours and you're displaying your depth of care for your clients and knowledge in the industry. And this can also be applied to everything else that I listed earlier. You can congratulate them on a recent accomplishment that they shared, or maybe they just hit 10K followers on a specific platform. The point is you want their first impression to be that you are a proactive and knowledgeable individual. So moving on to chapter three, bullet point sales script. Okay. One thing I mention frequently is the fact that I don't enjoy following a sales script word from word. I just come off way too robotic and the conversation gets kind of awkward at times, probably because I'm just not good enough at it. If I'm being honest, I'm sure if I practice the script religiously, then I could probably do a good job at it, but it's not needed for me. And it's probably not needed for you either. If you're a freelancer or if you're an agency with a small team, it comes down to diminishing returns. So in, in my opinion, like, sure, I could dedicate one hour or two hours per day to memorize a skill script, or I could just create bullet point sales script, like the one I'm going to show you rather than spending an hour or two a day studying the script. I spend those hours just improving my client results, which will lead to referrals in a better portfolio and just, you know, growing my agency in general. So quick disclaimer here, look, if you're an organization that requires multiple meetings per day to keep up with your workload and churn, then sure thing, go ahead and optimize your sales script to the max because you need a high volume of sales to maintain your business. But if you're watching this video, then really all you need is like three to five meetings per week, close at least one of them per week, and you'll have four new clients every single month. As long as you provide a good service, they will stick with you for a very long time. Now back to the video. Okay. So to the exciting part, exposing my bullet point sales script, sort of, I'm not going to give you my exact bullet points because everyone's business is different. So instead I'm going to list a bunch of them so you can pick and choose which ones apply to your service, or at least you can get inspiration to write your own versions. And here they are somewhere on the screen. I'm not going to read them because it's just a waste of time and feel free to screenshot this, or you can join my free discord. And of course I'll post it there. It's agency go. You can just DM me on Instagram for access. I have a free course there. I'll give you free one-on-one -on -one help uh, from me so you can get upper clients consistently. Oh, and quick little bonus here. If you notice that you're consistently getting the same objections over and over again, I just incorporate it into one of the bullet points or better yet. I just incorporate it into my pre qualifier questions before the sales call even starts. For example, if everyone was wondering about fake followers or how long it takes to get to a thousand followers, then you should just address the concern before they even have the chance to bring it up. That way the entire sales process is as frictionless as possible. Okay. Now for our grand finale chapter four, which is the pitch wrap up plus upfront value. Now, by this point in the conversation, you've already impressed them by being proactive and doing your research and you've already qualified them thoroughly by following your bullet point questions. So here's how to wrap up your call. And this is word from word. What I say during my sales calls. Well, so based on our conversation and the fact that repeat talking points during the conversation, I think we'd be a good fit and I could help you with insert their goal. I don't know why I'm doing it in front of the microphone. I should probably do it right here. Insert their goal, right? So if you put it into action, it could sound something like, well, so based on our conversation and the fact that I already have worked with podcast clients before, and I've gotten really great results for clients who are very similar in the content style that you make, I think that we'd be a good fit. And I could probably help you grow your podcast to a thousand followers. Now I can't promise it's going to be within one year, but why don't we do this? Let's work for three months. Let's give ourselves a, okay. It's et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. You can fill in the blanks yourself. I guess I'm just being too lazy right now. It's a busy day guys. Come on, don't blame me, okay? I'm trying to grow this agency and Discord and, and whatnot. It's got a lot on my plate right now. Now, next, what you can do is offer a bonus upfront value to just like really just seal the deal. You know, warning though, this is only going to work if you're actually good at what you do. So for example, sometimes I'll offer a complimentary social media audit and strategy breakdown to qualifying prospects. This way they will be impressed. They'll be so impressed actually by our thoroughness and our attention to detail that it becomes a no brainer to hire my team to grow their social media accounts for you. This could look like a complimentary video edit, a complimentary list of video ideas specific to their target audience, whatever, just make sure that it's actually good. Otherwise you end up ruining the sale. So happy client hunting guys, hit me up and Instagram if you need help with this.